Ag America TV here, and I'm here with Brent Hayek, uh, who uh, has quite a unique vehicle here. Brent, why don't you tell us a little bit about where you come from and what you do? Oh man, I, it's a pleasure to be here. First of all, it, uh, I'm from uh, I'm from Ames, Oklahoma. Population less than 200. Uh, we're north and west uh, north and west part of the state. Uh, I'm a soybean farmer, third third generation farmer, and uh, we. Uh, we, we, were, we were trying to promote the power of uh, biofuels uh, years ago, well, seven or eight years ago, we took some Mustangs out to Bonneville Salt Flats on E85 and set uh, some land speed records with them. The, they didn't have a class for E85, they put us in fuel altered, which is nitromethane, the most powerful fuel on the planet, and we, we outrun the nitromethane powered cars with the 85, and we were pretty proud of that. And, um, then we, we started using the soy, soy bioplastic fenders on these Mustangs. The Mustangs were powered by E85 corn-based ethanol, uh, had soybean, soy composite fenders, the paint on the car was soy, the foam in the seats are, are soy, and now all the Mustangs that come out of uh, Dearborn have soybean uh, foam in the seats. So anyway, we started out doing that and uh, Ford was going to come out with a, a new power stroke engine. We found out about that and sent some uh, biodiesel to the Ford Dino Labs and they test it. Wow, this stuff is, you know, this is good. We like this. I mean, it, it was 1% one way or the other with power and efficiency with standard hydrocarbon diesel and uh, they decided to adopt it into their new 6.7 power stroke engine and, and so, well, let's just let's just go out and see what this thing will do. And uh, anyway, working with, with uh, the Ford Motor Company, um, we we went out to the Bonneville Land uh, Salt Flats and First of all, established or set the B diesel truck record, which is for you know standard hydrocarbon-based diesel, and um, we, we we you know we broke that record at 169 mile an hour. All we done was drain the fuel out of it, put B20 in it, and went 182 miles an hour. So, and you know it, it's it's a better product as far as it's more highly oxygenated, and the uh, lubricity qualities are somewhat better than uh, standard diesel. But what people don't understand why this works so well. And the salt flats, because the altitude there, you, you think of Bonneville salt flats, well, that's down in the middle of bottom somewhere, but at the actual altitude, the corrected air density that day we ran was like 6,000 feet. And that'll take about 20% of your horsepower. And uh, that's kind of kind of why we did that. So, you know, diesels are, are known, I guess, pretty much for having good torque and good low end, uh, low end uh, torque, but uh, you know, you got a quite a quite a bit of modification that looks like done on this vehicle. Well, not so much. It, it, it's kind of intimidating uh, when you open the hood. You'll see the what you see. All that piping is uh, intercooling. What we've done is uh, we got a 50 gallon ice water tank in the bed, and we, we pump that 38 degree ice water through the intercoolers instead of the 210 degree engine coolant to cool the air down going in there. It's kind of intimidating to look at, but uh, really all we had. Um, all we had changed was the uh, we changed turbo injectors and uh, intercooling, and we had to put a different rear end under it. It's got a NASCAR Super Speedway with rear end with a 250 gear. That's how we're able to attain those speeds at such low RPMs. Yeah, that's really an amazing looking vehicle. It looks like you got a lot of uh, soy sponsors and other uh, ag type sponsors on the truck. Yeah, it's it's, it's been we you know we're working with Monsanto, Asgro brand and. Uh, BASF helped us with the soy-based paint and uh, uh, Bosch and oh gosh, it, yeah, we, we, we've got some, got some and, and all of this, the you know, United Soybean Growers, National Biodiesel and you know, we, we've been going to the different states, you know, right right here with the South Dakota Soybean Growers and uh, you know, it, it helped promote their product and it draws farmers in because you're, you've been out on a farm most of your life, you're going to have to know how to work on something, pretty much be a gearhead or, or, or learn to walk and none of us like doing that very well. We've seen some uh, pretty unique contraptions come out of farm sheds uh, over the years. Oh yeah, especially you guys up here, you have a long winter, you got a lot of time to drink and think, so to speak. <laughs> well, so, so uh, you're taking this around the country, do uh, you have anything on the drawing board to go break that record that you got now? Well, we're just, you know, we, we could, we, I, you know, I'd like to go 200 mile an hour with it, but right now at this point, rather than breaking more records, we feel it's more important to, to go out and uh, showcase and promote what we've uh, what we what the, what this thing will do. Um, you know, get the word out to to customers, uh, you know, prospective biodiesel customers, what have you. You know, the, the power of this product, and you're 
and you're helping an American farmer, you know, and uh, you know it's all, you know, it's and it's cleaner. I mean, it's it's just win 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 all the way around. And um, rather than to go back and uh, break our re reset our own records, we felt it'd be more important to go around and promote to get get spread the word and let more people get more people educated on biofuels. Well, that makes sense to me, and uh, if you ask me, they got the right man doing it. So, Brent uh, Hayek, thanks very much for the time you spent with Ag America TV this morning, and best of luck to you down the road. Thank you very much. Pleasure being here.